I was born in Easy Town, but Easy Town wasn't easy. I saw everything, violence, drugs, chaos every day. It made me who I am today, and I was fortunate enough to get out. Since I was young, I turned to football and punished people every day. You see me on the field, you know what's going to happen. If you think you can take me, you're wrong. If you think you're stronger than me, you're definitely wrong. If you think you're faster than me, it's not happening. I'm Cordell Thomas, the best player in the country, and I will crush you. <laughs> to me, football means everything. I've been playing it since four, so I've developed a, like, a deep love for football. I feel like I'm kind of like the LeBron of high school football. I'm a phenom, like I can do everything. When a college coach, you know, describe my game, they just tell me that they wish their guys can play like me. That's all they talk about, like, man, you run track, man, you catch the ball, man, you run routes, and then they want to watch it and see that. Then the block and the goal is out the window, because that's all we talk about. He plays like he's in college already. He has a lot of work that he still needs to do, but the one thing they won't have to teach is the aggressiveness. College coaches, they say he dominates. From the opening snap, he fires off the ball. He doesn't take plays off, and that's a big plus in, the, in college coaches' eyes. I've been knowing Cordell for like since seventh grade, you know. I can count on him for whatever. If I need something from him, I can always count on him. You know, he's loyal to me. He's a great athlete. Number one player in the nation. Teachers love him, everyone loves him, you know. Like, I don't think he have any enemies, honestly. I mean, unless they're fans from another school, but that's about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I should be the number one player in the nation. Like, I went to the All-American Combine, and nobody grinded like I did. I go hard. For every event I'm at, I go hard. On the field, I go hard. That's the true definition of a five-star and the number one player. The amount of hate I get is just crazy. Like, people be mad because they never seen nobody like me and they want to hate that so, so much. God bless the haters, like the people that hate me. And I really mean that from the bottom of my heart because you're hating for no reason. You're hating on somebody that's doing something positive when the environment they came from, they could be doing a lot of vulgar and violent things and just be a straight thug. This is for recovery, you know, like when your body aching, things like that. I take it once before workouts, and after I come home, I take it again, so twice a day. Woo! Make you rethink taking it. I look at my workouts, I look in the mirror. I like to see myself progress, because that let me know that I'm doing something right. That's it, now let's go get the workout in. I don't have no personal trainer. This is it right here. The workout made to make you push yourself. People might be like, oh, like I'm, I'm feeling sorry. This is what you're supposed to do. Push, push. Come on, push. Dip the wall you out. This is where it all started at, right here. Work act is real good. Always been good. Once he decided just what he wanted to do about 9, 10, he never had a problem out there. He's a 4.0 student on top of being this number one athlete. And his goal always been to go to LSU and make it to the NFL. Since he was little, he wanted to wear that purple and gold. All the college coaches ask him, how you got his feet like that? How you got his feet like that? But this is the part of it, the broomstick workout. I will credit this drill to his quick feet. The object is that as soon as you land, they right back up off the ground. There you go. Quick. There you go. Yeah. 2016, we had the flood in Baton Rouge. We lost everything. And we ended up having to go to the Best Western. And he still continued his workout. That night he did push ups, he ran the stairs, he, he jumped rope, he ran around the complex. He said, I can't get out of shape even though we're not playing. He knows how to handle adversity well now. Ah. <laughs> Where he grew up, Easy Town. You know, it's a fairly rough area. They made the best out of it. Like, it's so easy to get caught up in, I guess you could say, the, the street culture. But he never got caught up in all that. He always kept his grades. 
never really got into trouble at all. And he just focused on what you want to do, which is be a great football player, scholar, and continue with it. There you go. Yeah. Baton Rouge, it's a fun city at times. You know, it's also a violent city. So you know you gotta watch yourself a lot in Baton Rouge, honestly. When I was growing up, I lived in a poor area. I mean, you had gunshots a lot when you in the hood, and it, it was every day. But my parents just worked hard, got enough money to get me, get me out of there. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. This is Lula Avenue. This is the stumping ground right here, boy. Crazy being back here. I ain't even gonna cap. I haven't been here in a minute, man. It's crazy. Right here, used to be Black and JT. They was like my two best friends. We used to play every day, like literally every day, no matter what, it was rain and nighttime, all that, that's all we did. Right here used to be Ross. He used to ask my daddy for a dollar and a bill every day, no matter what kind of bill it was. It was funny to me. Here used to be Miss Paula. Anything you needed, Miss Paula had you, no matter what it was. Is that Miss Betty down there? Congrats! Oh. <laughs> oh, you're so tall! I don't even know who you are! Call that you so big! Him yep. and my daughter went to school together. She was a cheerleader, he was a football player. <laughs> Alright, now here go my house right here. This is where he ride bikes and played ball. He get up right. at six in the morning, he up trying to hit the door, yeah. ride his bike, play the basketball, yeah. sub six in the morning, every morning. Every morning. Like when we got boys, we used to go find something to do. I mean, we used to stay pulling this fire hydrant here out. Like you pull it out, boo water, you just pull it. Flood the street. You boy, you go pull it. Hey man, you go pull it. Somebody gonna go pull it and then it's gonna flood the whole street. Yeah. <laughs> when they flood the street, they'll let me call the water people and say we got a problem. Never told me they did it. To the neighbor uh, told me and I whipped him. I really did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's called Easy Town, it's not easy. It's like a lot of poverty around here. You're gonna see a lot of poverty stricken kids. One day, you know, we were just playing outside. You know, like all day, pick up sticks. I never forget it. Right here, this was playing there, this line right here. It was a Chrysler. He pulled up by the tree. Shot, like just shot, boom, 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 boom. We was like, dang, I hit the ground. You know, I don't know what it was. I don't know if he mis mistook the house for somebody. I don't know. I don't know what he was trying to hit, but thank God he didn't. You know, that's real. Like that's that's where I come from. My parents got me out of here. They just they saw what I was becoming and they didn't want me to become it here. I had to work extra hard just to get the house we in now. Like so that's what made me say like, you know, I'm gonna do this for my parents and for you know, for me, really, because I love the game myself. And, you know, I just thank God for him. I thank God for all this. What's up, y'all? Hey, what's up, hey. 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 This is my grandfather right here. What's up, brother? Okay. This is my beautiful mother. This is my girlfriend. Hello. And now... <laughs> oh, my Aunt Vicky right there. And this is the secret to... Auntie and my gumbo. Gumbo is not hard to make. Just follow the steps. We start off with the seasoning, like bell pepper and onions and celery. We put all of that in there. You gotta have your smoked neck bones. You gotta slice your sausage. Make sure you got the chicken. Put it in the pot. Constantly stirred. And where's the best gumbo in the world? Louisiana and Jenny's Kitchen. <laughs> To have family around, it means so much to me. And what is very, very warming, that they came together to celebrate Cardell. Cardell going to LSU, it means a lot because my husband and I, uh, we do have some health issues. And Cardell chose to stay home, close to us, so we can go to the games, so we didn't have to travel so much. Their valley is going to be outrageous because as Cardell tell y'all, he's going to bring the swagger. 
we know 2016 was, was a very horrible time for this city, but thank the Lord uh, for the Thomases that God has brought you, have brought you guys back in your house, and that is, thank, thank the Lord for what we see, all that God has done. One of the greatest effects that Cardell has is his character. He's a quiet, gentle spirit. A gentle giant, I guess you might say. Just because you have the talent, that doesn't always translate into making it to the next level. But when you have the proper support base, when you have the proper parenting, and what I know about his parents is they've taught this kid to be honorable and respectful. And so I think that that is what is reflected in this young man's life. And I think he's gonna go very, very far. Excuse me, who's gonna go to an LSU game? Yeah. With family like this, you can't lose. I got a cannon for an arm. This is what I do. It's overtime season. You know, you gotta watch more videos. You don't see the cannon, see the juke. And click subscribe. You need to click subscribe already. Why you haven't done that yet? So I can record them.